Hey, yeah, that sound is from uh, Neverhood. An old claymation CD-ROM game that just annoyed the fuck out of me. Also, that is not the game fucking up. That's the glorious MIDI soundtrack of Phantasmagoria. Oh, drink it in. Drink it in. So there's some kind of code here, and I don't know what it is. Get. Out. Do not. Shipped it. Sp. Sci. Sci trust. Let's, let's you. I just see get out. That's all I see. Get out. Do not. Trust. Get out. Do not trust. Must be it. If you get a chance, check out Fear and Hunger. Me thinks you might enjoy it. Is it a CD-ROM game, Mises Shiz? I don't, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, oh, so we, uh, our, 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 uh, is it our husband or is it our fiance or something? Don, the, the ponytail photographer guy. I don't remember if it's our husband, boyfriend or fiance or whatever, but Don has been possessed by a ghost, the ghost of, um, um, one of the magicians. Um, not, not, not Zoltan. Um. Carno, yeah, he's been, yeah, there it is. He's been possessed by the ghost of Carno, the magician. And, uh, he, we just had some rough, some rough sex with him. Well, actually, it was more rough, rough, really dry humping, <laughs> like flannel boxer dry humping. Terrible. It was r awful all the way around. And uh, now we're, I think she's kind of twigging on the idea that maybe her husband isn't her husband anymore. And also this, this TV always shows the same show. Oh, uh, uh, the last scene was, I think, uh, our, our husband, Don, kicking out the phone guy who was here repairing the phones because he accused the phone guy of fucking his wife or, or at least making eyes at her or, or something. And the reason why that's happening is because it directly mirrors what happened with Carno and his wife in the past. Carno accused his uh, his fiance lady whatever of stripping the uh, stable boy or something I don't fucking know and then killed her. So there's never been anything in this room. And I don't know why I even come back here. <laughs> this room is stupid. Oh, and this is, yeah, there's nothing in the bathroom. Okay. Okay. I'm just rechecking the rooms just to see if there's any like cinematics that happen. All right, yep, the ghost. The ghost that, that lives above the baby crib that we're just kind of just like letting, letting hang out. But no one's really talking about it. <laughs> what up, Titan Odin? How you doing? 
Get my wife out of your damn eyes! Don? You in there? Don is not in there. I'm going to stand here at attention. I just love how she does that. After every action, she stops and stands at attention. Wait, what's this? What's happening in the mirror? Oh. Michelle, this is from 1995. Seven discs. Looks delicious. Uh, for starters, giblets in a rich red marinara sauce. Sweet and sour tripe. Still hungry? Oh. Scrambled brains? Oh, yes. Delightful. Yes. Oh my god. Yeah, dude. I was wondering where the prediction came from, but then I realized Citro made a prediction before they left. And it was just, yeah, or nine. <laughs> and, oh, the submission's closed. So, I guess we'll choose the outcome. And the outcome will be... Let's see. Let's do one. One for ya, two for nine. Nine is the winner. If you chose nine, you won. There you go. Good job, Cytro. Uh, Arcane Oracle, thank you for four months. Back for the laughs and the fun emotes. I use my Bezos butt pennies this month, so you get the real pennies. Oh, thank you. Jerv, 1990, thank you for 10 months. And Park C with 88. 88 fingers, Louie. Oh, no, don't go back up there. Please don't go back up there. Oh, God, we already did it. Go, yep, go down, down. There you go. Oh, did we, hold on. Uh, more? Yeah, the MIDI, the MIDI sound went back up. It didn't save <laughs> my settings for that. Okay. So we'll turn that back down. <laughs> All right. That's why the MIDI sound was overpowering again, because it did not save me turning it down. All right. Is there anything in this room? Doesn't look like it. Nothing new. 
Okay. Anything new in this room? Nope, doesn't look like it. Okay. Not here, you idiot! Get out of here! There you go. Get the fuck out. Okay. Oh, down the stairs. Here we go. Oh, here he comes! Our favorite guy! <laughs> there you are. What is it, Cyrus? Cyrus. Uh, she, she, she told me to, to tell you to, to um, oh, come to Dubon. Wait. What for, Cyrus? Uh, no, Michelle, you can't. Uh, I, I think it has something to do with. Uh, However, you can choose the chapter uh, you want to play at the beginning oh, on disc one. Uh, so you don't really have oh, to skip. You, I, okay, it, it's built you into the first disc of the game. But you won't. I don't know what inventory items they give you because you collect these along the way. All right, time for a prediction for this disc. I think you get one prediction per disc or chapter. I was wondering since you said someone brought you one. They brought me a burnable disc. I burned two of the discs because they had CD rod. Disc one and disc seven. <laughs> seven of the seven discs had CD rod, so I had to download the ISO, burn them onto a disc so I could play it in the proper order, proper fashion. Hmm. Better go out there. Is this, I hope this is the way to the, is this the way to the barn? I, I really, I really don't know how this fucking place is laid out anymore. No, this isn't it, is it? No, I just went around in a circle. I think the barn is probably, is oh, the barn is this way. There we go. There we go. Oh man, that bag blue screen. Really trying hard. Is dude going on a date with his mom? Oh, Ma, she's here. He's getting all gustied up. Welcome, oh, seeker of the spirit world. Oh. Please, have a seat. Right, we're gonna do a little seance. Let the seance begin. Oh, community theater. So good. Oh, elusive spirits of the netherworld, heed us now. Oh. Talk to us, oh, shades of darkness. She took a shower. Give us a gleam of your good. essence. Good. Give us a sign of your spiritual being. I think they're biting. 
I think they're biting like fish. Oh, restless souls. This poor gal seeks answers. Answers to questions unknown. You just got to... Oh, no. Oh. Oh, she tapped into some ghost bukkake. Uh-oh. Should we be watching this? Is this okay? Hello. I, Zoltan Karnavash, was greedy and foolish. Oh, this is Zoltan. And open the door to the dark dimension. Nerdling, thank you for the 14 months. I released some obscenity. An entity of pure evil. It had been, it had been contained. But now the pestilence is free to infect once more. You are the chosen one. Only you can send it back. Find the dragon. Find the dragon. It will show the way. Find the dragon, it will show the way. Okay, got it. 300 bits, hashtag floor face. What happened? Oh, it might be the, the aftermath of the Power Rangers Zordon. <laughs> they look similar. You don't know? No what? Harriet, you did it. You really did it. You're not pulling my leg now, are you? No, I wouldn't do that. That's never happened before. Daza, thank you for the two months. Well, there we go. We got it. We, we made it. All right. Swell. Let's go ahead and save it. Booyah. All right. Uh, you ever talk to a psychic or the like? I did. I, I did. I got a reading. Uh, um, it wasn't a, no, it was a palm reading. It wasn't a tarot reading. It was a, I got a palm reading at our local fair. Uh, the fair comes to Billings, Montana uh, every year in August, and it's a week-long thing, and uh, they don't have a lot of the carny booths. Like, the, the they don't have, like, a, you know, Lobster Girl or, or Scorpion Boy, or they don't have any, like, the, the quote-unquote freak show shit anymore, but uh, there's still a few, like, a couple of lingering old things that still come. Like, there was a palm reader, and I went and got my palm read and she said you like she told me you were in love with a coworker, um, which is which was not true um, and that you are in love with a coworker, and it's a man and you're afraid to tell everybody you're gay. And I was like, you're great. That's crazy. Good. Good job. And I walked away going like. I think they, they keep in business because people just, just agree because uh, <laughs> they, they don't want to, like, be contrarian. Because everyone knows it's a sham, but you want to you wanna have fun and go along with it. <laughs> so I think that's probably how they stay in business. <laughs> uh, Large Pixel, thank you for 35 months. Okay, so the kid is, I'm guessing the kid is putting on a show or the kid? He's not a kid, he's an adult. I'm guessing Cyrus is putting on a show. He's putting on a play. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up, Scott. Don't talk to me, you're in timeout. 
You're not allowed to talk to me on Discord. I'm not going to answer any more of your stupid things because you're, you're, you're in timeout. So she said, okay, find the dragon. Let's get in the car. It's late. Like, it's super late for country. It's like 8.30 p.m. So, like, all the country folk are in bed. Oh. Well, it's too late to go into town now. Everything will be closed. There you go. Okay. So there it is. There you go. besides her dumb face what the fuck was the point of that She tries it for an hour and it doesn't work. Okay. So we have this. We have this uh, brooch with a pin on it. So I'm not sure what to do with that. It has three ladies dancing. So that's our newest item that we have to figure out what to do with. Yeah. Uh, 39, thank you for three years. Oh, well, everybody's heard oh. about the bird. Bird, 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 bird. Bird is a word. Bird, 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 bird. Bird is a word. That was an accident. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> okay. Oh, exit there. Yep, nothing, nothing special there. Yep, nothing special there. All right. Can't use it there. Let's see. How do I, oh, I gotta exit, right, all right. What is, where's all that fucking noise coming from? Get over here. Is it coming from that back room? Or is it just, is it just the, like, I'm hearing things. Also, why do I stop in the middle? It seems like there's something here that I'm not seeing. Because there's, there's absolutely no reason to stop in the middle here. But there's nothing else to interact with, so. Oh, the reverie is, is done, apparently. Oh! Okay. It made a point of showing me the mirror. What's going on in here?
Well, well, look who's here. Oh, time for some drunk acting. I love, I love people's drunk acting. To my dear husband. Here's to you. <laughs> that was a good line. Holy fucking fuck. Oh my god. Wow. Well, now's the time you ask for a divorce. She didn't see that one coming. Oh man. Baloo. That's not what I meant by wearing glasses. <laughs> when I said I think I should get glasses, that is not what I meant. I guess we'll check the fridge again. We haven't checked the fridge in a while. And why is it so goddamn small? <laughs> That is a tiny ass fucking fridge. Okay. I haven't been down here in a minute. So I'm just gonna recheck this place. Or, or not. There we go. Oh, there we go. Okay, so there is something happening in the Keg? <laughs> or not. Okay. Hello? <laughs> take, take your time. We're not doing anything. I can't, I couldn't interact with the, with the keg. Oh shit, we're fucked. Oh, okay, never mind. Let's just stand at attention real quick. Now we've done this once before, but it, maybe it'll have a different result this time. What? Oh. Okay. Oh god. <sighs> it's just a rat. That is that that rat must be important. Yeah, I can't I can't do anything with this. I wish I could. It seems like I should be able to, but I can't. Okay. I guess we'll leave. Yep, shut off the light. There you go. Get out. No idea.
There is something, like, I can interact with this fire... Somehow. I can look in there, and that's it. I can't, I can't poke it with the fire poker. I mean, this would be silly if I could use the key on it. Nope, I can't. How about the hammer? Nothing. So there's... Seems to be something there, but I, I don't know what it is. Wait a minute. Go back down. Oh. Is there... Maybe something happens? No. No. I'm on disc five of seven. And I can't... Okay, so I can't... Mess with the phone guy's phone. I've got to find the dragon. Whatever that fucking means, I got to find the fucking dragon. Uh oh, I did not trigger this. Oh, okay. Oh shit, here we go. Cinematic. Too hard. <coughs> oh, I thought that was the end of the chapter. Wow, I went all over the house. Sorry. One second. Just gotta check on something. Okay. I got a call from the dog groomers. And I'm like, whoa, did I miss my appointment today? But no, my appointment is for the 6th. It's for next Monday, so we're good. I'll let it go to voicemail. Check it. Check it on my break. Uh, save. Yep. <laughs> I just sit here and look at it. Are you kidding me? Maybe I, maybe I'll stoke it a little. There we go. And that's it. Good job. Maybe I need to go back in here and see if there's anything new in here. Certainly doesn't seem like it. I 
don't know what to do with this book. I guess I'll just leave it here for now. <laughs> okay, sure. Just leave it here for now. No problem. What if I use the the brooch on myself? No. Okay. Like poke my finger, get some blood. You know, I haven't tried I haven't tried the old point and click combine items in my inventory yet. Wouldn't think anything like that would combine. <clears throat> no, this game has a has a bad habit of having a bunch of shit that looks like you should be able to pick it up, but you don't. You pick it up and you put it back. <laughs> you just look at it. Under the grounds again. It seems like what I need is outside. Whatever that may be. Oh. Yeah, what? This. This whole thing. It seems like an exit for somewhere else. Like, I, I find the entrance in the house somewhere and then I pop up here. If I remember correctly but I might not remember correctly. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. There's nothing to interact with here. There's the, the bong here. The dead body there. What, can I put the brooch on the dead body? No. What if I what if I hammer up all the remains? Does that work? No. Yeah, the skull on the left does give hints. And, I, you know, I avoid getting hints when I can, but it seems like now, is, now would be a good time to do it. I haven't done it yet all game. Might as well. I am the official hint keeper. I watch your every move. Ask me for a hint if you are hopelessly stuck, but use me sparingly. Too many hints can spoil the game. <laughs> Something's different in the conservatory. What the fuck is the conservatory? I don't even know. Yeah, the where I play the music? The music room. Okay. See, I only know the word conservatory from Clue. That's it. You know what? Let's let's all learn something. 
Shall we? I know you hate learning. Conservatory. College for the study of classical music or other arts. A room with a glass roof and walls. Oh, attached to a house at one side. Used as a greenhouse or a sun parlor. So that's the, con I was in the conservatory then. Hmm. Wait, you don't, you really don't know that? I'm sorry, I didn't live in a house that had a fucking conservatory, Salva. I'm sorry, I didn't grow up with a conservatory thing, a room in my fucking house. Yeah, but Clue, I don't, I remember the word being used in Clue. I don't remember the place, like what it looked like. It was a fucking board game. There. You uncultured Zeke, how can you live in that cave you're living then? <laughs> so there's something different in here. Is there? I, I Like, I moused all over this place. I didn't see anything to interact with. Don't leave. Uh, God damn it. There's just this. There's one thing to interact with, and that's it. This, this right here. So this might not be what they call a conservatory then. A room with glass roof and walls attached to a house at one side and used as a greenhouse or a sun or a sun parlor. Okay, so this isn't attached to the house. Oh. All right. <laughs> That's the end of Citro's time as mod. <laughs> oh. All right. We remove the. Remove the timeout from Citro. <laughs> Their entire time as mod was spent in the shitbox. Well, all but five minutes. I wonder if up here is what they're talking about.
Are the chat points really what I think they are? Well, Fairy Do, I think if you mouse over them, you'll see what the, my channel points are actually called. Here we go. So this is the exposition disc where you just look in every mirror in the house. You never stop talking, do you? Never, ever. You just keep growing on. Oh god, this... Oh, fucking saw! Zoltan. I want to play a game. The rules are simple. <laughs> I think she's probably okay. She was ahead of her time. <laughs> oh, boo. You spin me right round. <laughs> Someone give her a break. Okay, so I can't look in the mirror anymore. How many, oh, so how many deaths have we seen? Have we seen all four of them? We saw the drowning, we saw the head turning, we saw, did we see the electric one? I think we need to go to the electric one, right? Or no, we, oh, we saw, oh, the chair, it was the chair with the entrails, that was the first one we saw, so that's three. Hmm. The greenhouse. We saw the greenhouse. Okay. Oh, and the bottle. The bottle one. So we've seen bottle, chair, twisty neck, greenhouse, and uh, uh, drowning. So we've seen the four deaths and the child. But we still haven't, uh, like, what do they count as the conservatory in this house? This is it. This is the conservatory. Here we go. Okay, there is something in the middle. Okay. Hold on. What is this? I have no idea. <laughs> Don't smoke that bong around, Mom. <laughs> I gotta share Dragon that with will lead the way. Well, let's go look at it, I guess. Do we just pound a hole in the fucking wall with a hammer? <laughs> oh, we just find a secret compartment. No problem. Easy. Oh Easy peasy. Secret panel. Who am I talking to?
That would be a good time to save it. There we go. She's fucking miming it. She's doing a great job miming it. Ah. Oh, come on. Oh, can I? Oh, I guess I just close it. Close it slowly, though. Gotta, gotta extend the game's length somehow. <laughs> What's this on the ground? Oh, it's a roach! Oh, it's actually a cigarette butt. <laughs> Thanks for some great work uh, background material. A oh, work background material. Your ooze, ahs, and grunts are great for us lurkers. <laughs> well, I'm glad you like it, South Suburban Esports. Okay. <sighs> what is that? Oh, it's a lever. Okay. Oh, that's why I look at that corner. Now I understand why that corner... Oh, I didn't see that before. Okay. Now I understand the significance of that corner. Okay. And that space work is really good. Got to give her credit. Got to give her improv coach some credit. Oh. That's too far. That'd be a long jump. Hmm. I'll just go back upstairs. <laughs> I don't need to go down there. Oh shit, private movie theater. Oh my god, I remember this. Yes, I remember this so hard. No, this isn't under the house. This is the room in the, the big ballroom. The door, I, I couldn't get in. It's only open from the other side. Now, I'm not sure if they do this scene now, but I hope so, because the scene is great. Yep, here we go. This is where their budget went, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yo, continue with the raid. Thank you very much. Continue. We were told to say Pernicius raid. Pernicius. Hmm. No, we weren't. Oh, someone's. I'm getting one guide over here. Continue. We are raiding a new friend. Drop this command in chat once it swaps to our new friend. Can you believe it? It's a continue raid. Can we ask you about your car's extended warranty? God damn it. How many times? <laughs> How many times do I have to agree to get a new warranty on my car? I've got like 37 warranties already. Uh, Rod Johnson has gifted a sub to continue. Welcome back for the third month. Okay. Are we gonna get another vignette? Whoa! Oh, there's another cigarette. Look at that. Or cigarette, I guess. <laughs> Great time. God damn it. The nineties, man. No, if there's a mirror, you walk, you, you, you look at yourself. If there's a mirror in the game, you look at yourself. Hmm. What's this? Carno and Malcolm, 1897. Malcolm's the old guy that we did never see his face. We only saw his right hand. He chose poorly. Keep acting. No, you're not done acting yet. We have you for the full day. We're gonna use you. Can I? No, I wanna get that cigarette butt. I see it. Oh, there we go. Poster. Cardo. Mm. Opening the door of mystery. Yo, Chuggy Muggy with 55! I guess we don't get that cigarette. Alright. I guess we'll try and leave. Maybe that'll trigger something. The Steven Spielberg game changed me. It really did. It really did. Okay. So it just, it was on, it was locked from the other side. Don. Don. Hardcastle, McCormick. Scarecrow, Mrs. King, Chief McLeod. God, look at you. I don't care anymore. I just don't care. <coughs> S 
Sarah Dance Painter. I'm going to bed. We are reference buddies. Oh shit, I'm going to bed the chapter. Oh, we only got two discs left, y'all. All right, that was disc five done. Six is going in. Six looks good. No rot, no nothing. Let's go. Oh, what's a disc? I know, right? I miss the days when we have multiple discs. You say that, Master Gara, but you don't really... And until you have to do that for a game that requires you to switch discs several times, like back and forth in a row. Like there are certain games that I played on CD Ramathon where a certain section of the map is a different disc, not the progression of the story, but a section of the map. So every time you want to go like back to a place and, and look around again, you got to take the disc out, put it up, put the other disc back in load it up all that shit and then you can search around and if there's nothing there you just switch discs for no reason you gotta switch them back again this thankfully is is nice where the progression you only have to switch you know it goes in order one two three four five six seven you don't have to go back and forth between discs those are the games that fucking blow Oh, is he down in that absinthe? Don? Adrian. Are you all right, honey? Yeah. I just hit the whiskey a little too hard last night. That's all. Don, let's leave. Please. We gotta get out of here. Look what this this place is doing to you. Leave. Leave. This is our home, Adrian. We can never leave. You this want place. to leave? She won't let you. Where we're going, we won't need eyes. Oh, <laughs> that fell out of his butt. <laughs> Oh, what do you want? Hi. Yeah, I'm... I don't care about the damn phone. I'll get out of here as soon as I can. All right, fine. Get in here and fix it. And then oh. you leave. Oh, he came back after being fucking yelled at by the guy? I... Are you serious? He accused him of fucking his wife. <laughs> and he came back. Wow. Son of a bitch. All right, you can come in and fuck my wife, but make it quick. All right, save. Yes. All right. Um, did he actually fuck his wife? No, he didn't. No, he just accused... Because that's what happened in the previous... Uh, the previous situation with, um, oh, fuck, I'm forgetting his name again. Uh, KOTOR. No, not KOTOR. That's Knights of the Old Republic. <laughs> with, Ga yeah, Gaston and, uh, Carno, thank you. Carno, the person who used to live here, accused his then whatever number wife, because he had four of them that he killed, uh, he accused his whatever wife of sleeping with Gaston, the, uh, the fucking piss boy. I don't remember what he does and killed her. So that's, it's recurring. This is what's happening again. Uh, the ghost of Carno is infected. My husband, Don, who now has accused the phone man of fucking my wife, which he never did.
as far as we know. <laughs> so it's like history repeating itself. The house is repeating the events or the ghosts that live within the house are repeating the events that happened previously uh, with Carno the Magician. So, anyways, 